Hi guys, welcome to my new series, 10 Minutes to Brilliance. Um, please remember to hit like and subscribe once you like my work. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the remainder theorem, right? Um, so a typical examination question here. We have a polynomial, f of x, and it's defined by this value here, or this function, sorry. So f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 6x plus 1. And we want to work out what is the remainder when f of x is divided by this linear function here. So there are two ways to work a problem like this. So the first way is very straightforward. What you could do, right, since you are dividing by x minus 2, all we need to do is to put x minus 2 is equal to 0, and therefore x is equal to 2. And then what we're going to do, we're going to substitute 2 into that function here. So in this case here, let's write out the function first of all. So f of x is equal to 2x cubed, right, plus 5x squared minus 6x plus 1. So we're going to find f of 2. So we're going to substitute x is equal to 2 into this thing here. So this is going to be 2 by 2 cubed plus 5 by 2 squared minus 6 multiplied by 2 plus 1 and when we work this out 2 cubed is 2 by 2 by 2 that's 8 8 by 2 is 16 plus 2 twos are 4 by 5 that's 20 right um, minus 6 by 2 that's minus 12 and then add 1 so this is going to give me 16 plus 20 minus 12 plus 1 and I'm getting 25 as the answer right so we're getting 25 as our remainder here now how I'm gonna do this again I'm gonna do this by a second method which is a long division method right so we're gonna take that function and we're gonna divide it by x minus 2 so this is our function here uh, 2x squared sorry 2x cubed right plus 5x squared minus 6x plus 1 and we're going to divide this thing by x minus 2 so we're going to put x minus 2 on the outside here All right so this method is what we call the long division method so basically we look at this here we have x minus 2 and we have 2x cubed here so the only way that can happen is if we have 2x squared here then we're going to take this 2x squared and you're going to multiply it by x minus 2. So 2x squared by x minus 2 will give me 2x cubed. And then 2x squared by minus 2 is going to give you minus 4x squared. Right? Next thing we're going to do, just like we do our long division, we're going to subtract. So 5x squared minus minus 4x squared is the same as saying 5x squared plus 4x squared. So this is going to be 9x squared. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to bring down this minus 6x here. Alright. So now we have to ask ourselves, how are we going to get 9x squared here? The only way we can get that is by putting a 9x here. Alright. Then we take that 9x and we multiply by the x minus 2. So you're going to get 9x squared. 9x by minus 2. That's minus 18x. Alright. So the next step in the process here, we need to subtract. So 9x squared minus 9x squared, we're going to get 0. And then we have minus, um, minus 6x, right? Um, minus minus 18, so that's the same as saying plus 18. And that's going to give me 12x. So this is going to be positive 12x. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to bring down this 1 here. So this is 12x plus 1, right? So then we're going to say this here has to be plus 12. And then we're going to take that 12 and multiply it by x minus 2. So this is going to give me 12x. And 12 by minus 2 is going to give you minus 24. So then we have 1 subtracting here. 12x minus 12x will give me 0. And 1 minus minus 24 is the same as saying 1 plus 24. So you're going to get 25. So you notice that this here represents my remainder. Right? So we just got 25 for the last one, and we got 25 again. So we know our answer is correct. So let's do our next example. 
So again, we have a function f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 4. And we want to get a remainder when it's divided by x minus 3. So all we need to do here is to put x minus 3 is equal to 0. So therefore, x is equal to 3. So that's my, um, that's my substitution that I'm going to make. So let's write down what the function is. So in this case, it is f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 4. All right, and we want to work out f of 3. So that's going to be 2 by 3 cubed minus 3 by 3 squared plus 5 multiplied by 3 minus 4. So all I'm doing is substituting 3 into my formula. So 3 cubed is 27. So 27 by 2 will give me 54. So this here is going to be 54 uh, minus 3 trees are 9 trees are 27. So this is 27 plus 15 minus 4. And when I work this out, I'm going to get 54 minus 27 plus 15 minus 4. And I'm going to get 38 as my remainder. Right? So like with the previous one, I'm going to do this uh, second way. Right? I'm going to do long division and let's see if we get the same answer. So again, you have 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 4 and we're going to divide by x minus 3 in this case here so first things first uh, if we want to get 2x cubed this has to be 2x squared All right so 2x squared by x minus 3 will give me 2x cube minus 6x squared All right we have to subtract so 2x cubed minus 2x cubed will give me 0 and then minus 3x squared minus minus 3x minus 6x squared sorry is the same as saying minus 3x squared plus 6x squared so this here is going to be 3x squared then we're going to bring down this plus 5x here All right so if you want to get 3x squared, the only way you can get that is by making this here equal to 3x. Right? Then we take that 3x and multiply by x minus 3. So 3x by x minus 3 will give me 3x squared. And then 3x by minus 3 will give me minus 9x. Right? Then we have to subtract. So 5x minus minus 9, right? It's the same as saying 5 plus 9. So this is going to be 14x here. Then we need to bring down this minus 4. All right? So if you want to get 14x, this has to be plus 14. Then we have to take that 14 and multiply by x minus 3. So this is going to be 14x minus. And 14 multiplied by 3 will give me 42. And then the final step now, we're going to subtract. So 14x minus 14x will be 0. And then we have minus 4, right, minus minus 42 is the same as saying plus 42, and you're going to get 38, right, which is what we should have gotten before, yep, we got the same answer before, right, so this is a simple example of how we do remainder theorem questions, so just remember guys, please remember, hit like and subscribe.